Trump admitted yesterday to using aliases during an interview with Jimmy Kimmel. And his exact words were, and also, before I continue, he denied that the audio which surfaced a little while ago with what was claimed to be his own voice, um, you know, that that was not him, even though it sounded exactly like him, but whatever. You know, over the years, I've used aliases. And when I'm in real estate, and especially when I, when I was out in Brooklyn with my father, and I'd want to buy something, I would never want to use my name because you had to pay more money for the land. If you try to buy the land, to buy land, you use different names. Asked which names he used, Trump said he liked the name Baron, which he named his now 10-year-old son. I made a very good deal using that name, Trump said without offering specifics about the deal. I used an alias in terms of setting up a meeting with Mr. Donald Trump, and it was. And many people in the real estate business do that. You use aliases, and you have to do it. Otherwise, they find, they find out it's you, and they charge you more money, and nobody wants to pay more money. Thanks for telling me something everyone knows. So earlier this month, there was an audio recording of a man who sounded like him, posing to be his spokesman, um, and it sounded exactly like him. I'm kind of surprised I didn't report this, but I just, it's too much stuff. Um, you know, so that's that. What I think is really interesting, because I'm, I'm going to address that now, especially now that he's made further comments basically confirming he's had aliases what is there to lose in admitting this what supporters of his are going to say oh i can't support trump anymore he, he used aliases he 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 pretended to be someone he wasn't i don't see a single person who supports his campaign for the reasons that i think most people support his campaign leaving because of something he did what, 20 years ago? But I do see people... It just seems so bizarre to me. And I, I can't really rationalize it any other way. That there is this, this 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 Trump obsession. It's not even obsession. It's just Trump exception. We're going to call it that. Where he can go and say or do anything. And you know, he's even admitted himself. His supporters will not stop supporting him. He will use fake aliases, which, you know, that was whatever, then deny he used them, which, you know, we can all tell that's him, and then the supporters will know, oh, well, you know, he's lying, but whatever, and just keep on supporting him, and so when you, when he's, and this is the part that, you know, is the most disturbing, he gets that, he understands, he has Trump exception supporters, these people that will just ignore whatever ridiculous thing he does, and not hold him accountable to it at all. And he'll just ride high over it. But in knowing those people are there, it's it befuddles me that he would... Because he's got nothing to lose from admitting that was him. He has absolutely nothing to lose. Nothing to, nothing to gain either, but at least you won't have people saying you're lying. Which is what he's doing when he claims that that tape isn't him. Where, where it makes sense to, in his mind that... You can just go around and say and do things and then deny that you did them, even though we have proof that it was you. Because if we didn't have a tape and you, people were saying you did, you made all, you, you did calls, or no one would, could prove that was you. Because we wouldn't have a tape. We wouldn't have your voice. We have your voice. We caught you. And we didn't, we didn't catch you doing something underhanded. Like Nixon or, or Wiener or some other political figure that that's name escapes me. But we saw we caught you doing something that really isn't bad per se. And rather than own up to it, like the the macho man you claim to be, talking about deporting Hispanics and banning Muslims, you just you won't admit that this is something, you know, you did a while ago, you're promoting your own business, ha ha, whatever, and let it be done. You have to drag it out, let it sit around, and just waste our time with more nonsense. 
It's just ridiculous. Have a good day.